Whether you're using these units for yourself, or maybe defending your borders from an invading AI, these are the unique units to look out for in Civilization VI. Starting off our list at number 10, the Roman Legion. This is a melee unit with 40 combat strength instead of the swordsman which it replaces at 35, as well as it can be built without any iron. But I think the cool thing about these guys is that they can build forts and roads. And this is a very underestimated mechanic. Being able to place down forts so early in the game is incredibly useful, especially considering Rome, who is trying to get out as many cities as possible. Next up at number 9, Scythia's Saka Horse Archers. Now these unique units only have one attack range as well as their range strength isn't that strong for the classical era at 25, but there's one key component that I think makes these really powerful and that is their movements. They have four movement points which I think is so crucial in the early game, as well as they don't require horses somehow, I don't know, I don't know how, don't ask me, it's just logic, logic. And let's not forget Scythia is able to build two of these guys for the production of one. At number 8, the American P-51 Mustang. It receives plus 5 attack against other fighters, has 2 additional flight range, and here's the key, plus 50% for gaining experience. That right there is a very overlooked detail. Getting extra experience out means more promotions, which means always being able to get 50% of your health. And let's not forget, in Civilization VI, that new promotion tree can really make the difference between winning a battle and the war. At number 7, Montezuma's Eagle Warriors. These early game replacement to the warrior unit has a melee strength of 28, which is kind of scary considering the fact that they start with these guys, as well as when they defeat an enemy unit, they turn them into builders. For this reason, spawning next to the Aztecs puts you in immediate danger, because these guys will be among the most powerful units within the first 50 turns of the game. And at number 6, Samaria's Warcart. Probably the only unit that can compete with the Aztec Evil Warriors, these war carts get a melee strength of 30, have 3 movement, and suffer no penalty even though they're a heavy cavalry unit versus spearmen or pikemen. And on top of all of that, Gilgamesh can construct these at the very beginning of the game. They're even potentially as fast as the Sokka horse archers, if they start in open terrain they get 4 movement points. These are the units that absolutely dominate the early game. Here we are at the midpoint of this list, and at number 5, Japan's Samurai. These units should be very familiar to you if you played Civilization V, because these Japanese Samurai do not receive penalties when damaged. This means you'll often see one Japanese warrior take down a weaker unit even if they're at full strength. If you're trying to hold back a Japanese invasion, these Samurai are going to be incredibly frustrating because they just are so damn hard to kill. At number 4, and this should be a surprise to many of you, the Russian Cossack. Now I've really been building up this unit as if it's probably one of the best in the game, and it certainly is, but I don't think it's number one. After carefully examining them, I realized they might be able to move after attacking, but they melee attack, which means they aren't as powerful as, let's say, Mongolia or Arabia's Camel Archers from Civilization V. Plus, if you're in rough terrain, being able to move after attacking isn't all that helpful with this new movement mechanic of Civ 6. In order to really use these guys effectively, the player must be pretty well experienced in warfare in the Civilization series. Nonetheless, if you're using these Russian units in open terrain, you're going to have a very, very fun time. Now at this point in the list, I have gone back and forth on which order it should exactly be in. It just depends on the day for me. I, I think that they all are, are so similar in strength, it's, it's tough to judge. But at number 3, Arabia's Mamluk. Now this is a knight replacement, which all of the unique units by the way in this list that replace a unit already in the tech tree is even better, because you're more than likely going to receive promotions from previous units you might have built earlier in the line. But these Mamluks have one very crucial ability, and that is the fact that they can heal at the end of every turn, no matter whether they moved, attacked, or did nothing. This is easily the best unique unit for the AI to manage, if you're fighting the Arabian Empire within this time period, be worried, because these Mamluks are healing every turn and it's just so hard to take them all down. At number 2, Vicky's Redcoats. Now these unique units sit right in between musketmen with 55 combat strength and infantry units with 75 combat strength. But when they're fighting on a continent other than their home capital, they can compete with the strongest melee units in the game. Not to mention, they also have no movement penalty for disembarking, 
which means England is able to make naval invasions turn into land invasions very quickly. These redcoats are the most powerful melee unit in the entire game. And at number one, and this is probably going to come as a huge shocker, Brazil's Minas Gerais. Okay, okay, so hear me out here, I do realize that these units will be confined to ocean tiles, but I think they can even play a big role on Pangaea maps. These are the strongest unique units in terms of combat strength, hands down. At 80 range strength, they also replace the battleship. And as I said earlier in this list, that means that early range boat that you built on turn 50 might have tons and tons of promotions. And by the time you get to this battleship, he might even get more than 80 combat strength in certain scenarios. Brazil also gets access to this unit way earlier than the default battleships. They get it through the Nationalism Civic, which means you'll be getting already the strongest ship in the game with probably a few promotions earlier than everybody else. Finally, of course, it's a battleship, which means you can attack three tiles away. For any player in Civilization 5 or Civilization 6 that's experienced in combat, three tile range is huge. And also having the, like I said, strongest unit in the game and getting it earlier than everybody else, that's why Brazil's battleship is my number one. As always, let me know down below what your favorite unique unit is in Civilization 6. And if you want another list video inside of Civ 6 talking about the best civs, uh, I made a video right here. You can click right in this section anywhere over this way. And, uh, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.